With the new water mechanics in 1.13, my 1.12 spider farm design has been broke. So I have designed a new one for 1.13. This is a XP and loot collection system. So this is a build up farm. I didn't mention this in the last tutorial. You have to sit and wait for them to build up and then you can kill them. I am using a rather powerful sword and we should be getting a lot of loot inside of our chest. As you can see, a bunch of string, getting a bunch of XP. Now, this isn't an optimal XP farm. I would recommend an intermittent farm for max XP. And this only works with regular spiders. As you can see, they are darker in color. Cave spiders have a bluish tint to them. I do have a tutorial for it. I'll be leaving that in the description. But let's look at this from the cam accounts and see how it operates. In this design, we're going to be using the same water transportation system that we used in my cave spider farm. Now this will send the spiders over to a lift chamber and to the kill chamber so you can swipe them with the sword and get loot and XP. It uses the bubble column from 1.13 and it's rather fast getting spiders up there. However, sometimes they will fall back down, but they will shoot right back up so it's not a big issue. And every now and then you'll have spiders to bump into each other and they will climb up the walls. This is a certain complication that happens with spider farms quite often and it's a very difficult thing to avoid. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes you will get skeletons in this farm because spider jockeys have a 1% chance of spotting with a spider. So let's get to building this because it looks pretty awesome. Just to clarify, this is based in Java Edition. I have tested it out in Bedrock and Pocket Edition that there's two changes you have to make to the farm for it functionality. And I'll point that out in the tutorial. And you don't have a sweeping edge three enchant. So you have to kill these guys one at a time. So let's get started. Just like the previous tutorials, once you have found a dungeon with a spider spawner in it, you want a four block space between the spawner and the walls on all four sides. And then for the ceiling, you want a three block space between the spawner and the ceiling. For the floor, we want to dig four blocks down beneath the spawner. Let me show you in a visual representation. Throughout the process of mining the room, be sure to place torches. I usually do two per corner with a four block space in between because spiders can spawn in midair when it comes to spawner rooms. And as far as the dimensions go for the spacings of the wall and the spawner, we have a four block space for every wall. For the floor, we have a four block space. And then for the ceiling, we have a three block space. So dig those dimensions out when we get started on the lift chamber. Building the lift chamber for the water transportation system is going to make things so much easier. If you want to go to a wall that you want the spiders to travel to, dig three blocks center with that wall. Treat this as the floor and do a three by three like this. And then go four more blocks back. So you want a five block in depth from this wall. Once you're five blocks in, you want to go three blocks up on this for this wall like this. You want to do another three like this. Now you want to do two. And now you have your tunnel dug out. Let's start placing things. Go to the end of our newly mined tunnel. Take out the bottom back three blocks like this. Replace it with soul sands. Place in fence gates right in front of that across in a row. Now you can stack these onto each other by just crouching. And you want to do two more rows above this. And one more row in front of this on top. From there, you want to go over to these blocks and then dig these three blocks out. Put in a hopper in the center like this so it's facing into that block. And then holding shift and place in a hopper on the left hand side. Hopper on the right hand side and now you have your collection system ready. Now open up every one of these gates. That way spiders can get through. And before we put in the water, let's dig out the kill chamber. Above the hoppers you just placed, there's another 3x3. Three three. Take this three blocks back. From this point, you can make a little room if you want to for storage or you want to stand and kill the spiders in. As you can see, I have a room of my own. In that previous clip we left off on the third block, you want to go back and do a 3x3 three three of upside down half slaps until the last row is above your hoppers. In the block in front of that, you want to do a double row of trap doors. You can use wood if you want to, I'm just going to be using iron. Now, place trapdoors above your hoppers like this. Dig out these two blocks for your double chest collection system. And then we're going to take glass panes, go across in front of the slabs like this, and do three more glass panes in front. Now, if your design ends up being connected with the wall, you want to make sure to break these two blocks on either side, just so XP can get to you easier. The final and most important parts is the water transportation system. Go to the wall opposite of your lift chamber. On the second block up, put a water source on each corner. The water should form in a triangular formation. Break the blocks that aren't exposed to water. Now break every block that the water protrudes to on the last block. 
Your water should now flow into the lift chamber. On the top of the lift chamber, you want to put three water sources right here. Now go back into your spawning room, break the torches, and the farm should be active. Just a few quick notes, this farm is highly dependent on spider tracking, so if you're in creative, they will likely not bunch up in the proper place like these spiders are, between the pain and half slabs. And this is a build-up farm, so you want to sit here for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then you come up and then start farming them. You can put looting 3 on your sword, you can put sweeping edge 3, which I highly recommend. You need a sweeping edge 3 for this thing to be effective and fast. Bane of Ange prods, just make things easier for you. All goes into your loot right here. Very nice, just some little tidbits to show off. But, hope you guys do enjoy the farm and let me know what you think. Consider being family, subscribe to the channel. You guys have a fantastic day.